Good morning. So, uh, as I left it last time, um, I was trying to build, uh, trying to add a search box um, to Snippy Pixie GUI, um, and found that it was styled really weird in WebKit. So I'll just quick do a quick demo. Oh, better get the daemon up so we can see it. Let's move that over there. Uh, so that's the daemon. Let's run that. There we go. And I'll just do a reload here. So this is a um, text input, um, sorry, an input type search, um, and it's white background, and you can't style it in any way. Um, obviously, a placeholder works, um, so I can add stuff, but then you can't see anything because my styling by default. Um, and I think it does, yeah, it does do like the little backspace here. You can only just see it though because of the, the text color. Um, and that does work, but it's obviously not, not what I want. Um, and from doing various research, basically it's, it's, it's effectively unusable at the moment. Um, if you want it to be styled any other way than with a white background. So can't use that. Um, let's, so I'm going to have to switch back to a normal input basically. Um, so we're going to do that. So, okay, uh, where were we? In here, we've got input type search, and then we've got the input. Um, and here I'm doing type search. I would like to have some search functionality though, or make it obvious that it's search. So maybe let me um let me put that back over onto the ID workspace. I'll just reduce it down. Uh, one day I'm going to fix this, you know. Um, What could we do instead? What about okay? Well, let's do let's do a couple of different things here. Let's just well, let's just take this out for for the moment. So this is back to a normal input. I think search is no longer used. Uh, Autofocus is though still, that's good. Okay, so if I save that look back to good, good styling, um, What about hmm. OK, before I start mucking about with the search box.
let's actually get it working. Because at the moment, if I were to put, uh, say, night in there, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't put it down to that one which has got night in it. Um, yes, I know these, this style in the list is hide. It's just placeholder stuff at the moment. Um, let's do something with that. Get it working. And then I might improve the search box itself. So at the moment we've got um, we've got an input and we've got a placeholder that we're passing in. And I want to basically grab the value. So we're going to do with it. I'm going to have I'm going to have a variable called search and it's going to start off as empty for the moment and then I think what we'll do is we will simply I think I could do this can I find Yeah, bind value to the search. And uh, let's quickly just output what that is underneath for the moment, just to make sure it works. So we'll just have a, we'll just have a paragraph and we'll just stick search here and save that so as i type night we get the stuff at the bottom there if i put day and so on so that's good so it's working it's bound okay um well so we're not going to do that what we're going to do is we're going to adjust those snippets in the store So, hmm. at the moment, we've got snippet store which is created and we've got a fetch um, which goes and does a get all when do i use that i use that there So there's two different ways I can do this. I could, well, I was going to suggest I could just filter that result set and by bubbling up the search parameter into that into the main. But that is way finicky when I've got a backend function on the server that can that already does all the searching for me. 
and it does it on both the abbreviation and the body. So I think I think it would be better. to adjust this. So what I'm going to do is I am going to expose a search instead. I'm going to keep the fetch for the moment. I might, might rename it at some point to like get all or something. Um, but at the moment it's fine. Um, and so let's do search and search is going to take um, what am I calling it and then go in the back end uh, have I actually got it there yeah, just search, okay. And order by last used. Not really using that at the moment. I'm gonna have it always using that, I think. So let's do this. I'm gonna do going to pass in the search value. We're going to do a what's it called again? Get snippets. Get snippets. We're going to pass in the search and true. Better import it. Um, and that's it. That's going to update the store. kind of feel a little bit yucky about having two variables there that are just in the store. Sorry, two functions. But good thing about the fetch is it's kind of like a reset. We'll leave that for a moment. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna use a search, pass in the the predicate as such, but uh, so in the main screen Well, I guess that only, yeah, actually, that's probably say fish. Well, 
on first right yeah when the main screen is created if we have any snippets in the store and we're basically doing a reset there because we've come back hmm, maybe we shouldn't do that I feel like what I want to do here is because it's it's a single it's a single app and at this point We, I can't think of any reason why we wouldn't have the search criteria here. If we were doing an export, we would call, we'd probably directly call the export function and tell it to create the file and so on so don't need to worry about doing another get of all yeah i think i'm good right i think what i'm going to do is i think what i'm going to do here is have uh, a search store Uh, yeah, which is a just a writable, and it's just a string, and it's empty at the first. That's it. And that means that in here, you can import that. And do a search by search. Ooh, the value of the search. <clears throat> and then don't even need oh, wrong one. in the list snippet screen I don't need a new search parameter because I can bind it to the store value oh it doesn't like that oh that's because I haven't imported it let's import There we go. So it's just important that. So we've got a store that keeps a global current search parameter. We've got the snippets, which is the result of that search. The input, input box is bound to the search parameter. We're going to list all the snippets. Hmm, okay, there is a little wrinkle there. When I don't have any matches, uh, 
this screen would currently switch back to the welcome screen, which is not good. So I do need a count. I do need to know that there are snippets available. I'm just not searching for them. Hmm. It's kind of two different things, isn't it? Kind of playing with globals here. Okay, I think. I think I want to do one of two things. I can either have I could have a function that says how many snippets are there? Like account snippets. And I could just use that in here to do, like, if we've got a count of greater than zero, show the list snippet screen. Or... I could just use the current system and just count them. I could do a different store entirely, actually. Search. Search results. Could do that. Okay, have two different stores then. Let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna tweak this then, I think. No, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna have a main store of snippets and 
a search results. And then in the main screen, we're going to have two things here. We're going to have an initial fetch, which basically just resets the snippets, make sure that we're up to date. And then we're going to have a dynamic, which is a good point I thought about that. I do need to make it dynamic. Um, snippet search. Sorry. Search results. Actually, that's I don't need it in there at all, do I? I'm, I don't need to populate it out there. At all. I can take it out of here and just do it in the list screen. So we'll do this. We only care about it here. don't care about snippets, we care about search results instead. So coming to main, we do a quick fetch on, on first iteration through. Which I think is okay because any time that we want to delete a snippet, I think we'll probably go to a separate component, a separate route as such, confirm the delete, and then pop back to main, and in which case it'll do that quick fetch again and decide whether we've still got any yeah any snippets so it should be okay there let's do that okay so in here we're doing a search we'll get some results we iterate over them we've got a search predicate up there okay in here couple of different search things. Let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. Okay. So if I start typing night, there we go. It's down to the night one. And if we do day, it's just that one. If I do, well, long is in both as is all, as is wibble. If I do wobble, oh. now that should not found anything. Ah, okay. Right, so that's a bug there. I need to, if I don't have a match, not return anything. It's doing something else though, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, it's 
no problems there. So in that case, I bet what we need is search results dot length oops greater than zero A bang then. Huh. So Wibble, it's fine. If I do Bob, hmm, still not working. Okay, what's the dealy there? I wonder what the results are coming back. Hmm. Okay, let's find out. So, open up the Svelte thingy, do a refresh. So here, normally, uh, okay, let me check the store. Why have we got a console thing? Oh, it's just that, that's fine. So, we want, let's go down here. And then in the input screen, right, we've got search results here. We've got search predicate there. If I start typing, it's fine, it's changing as expected. If I do day, search results change. If I put Ah, it's null. No, you can't count null. Okay. So in that case, and if that's the DD. Hey, there we go. That's what we want. Let's type wobble. Both go. Great. Okay. That means I probably need to do the same on the main screen. That's not going to work. So we'll do that. Didn't break anything. Let's just do a quick reload to make sure that's fine. OK. All right, so we have a work in search. Every time um, we put in anything here, it's going to go off and double check it. So at the moment, I don't even have any more than just those two. So I'm going to 
do much, but that's fine. We're going to fill that out in a minute. So we have a working search box, but it doesn't really look like a search box, apart from a not very good um, placeholder, which I want to change actually. So for starters, let's do that. And I think that's not going to get picked up. I have to make another change in a minute. Um, anyway, it won't pick up on reload, will it? No, it does. Okay. Um, Make sure this is this is working now, isn't it? Yeah. Day night. Right, so I kind of want to make that search box better. And I also want to make separate, actually I'll kind of uh, need to make a alternate. Result here as well. So we kind of want to have something like else um, Do a string here, can't I? Let's do that. Uh, let's do a something like that, and we'll do no snippets found. I've already got that. <laughs> cool. Okay. Right. <laughs> when did they do that? Excellent. Um, so, in theory, if I do hello here, yeah, no snippets found. That looks pants. So, let's do something better. Um, what should we do? Um, Class no snippets found. What kind of setup are we in here? Can't remember. Oh, 
Are we in a flex? No, uh, kinda. Okay. So this. I could probably move into what have we got here? We're in column. I presume. Yeah, column no wrap. I kind of want to do a center thing again, don't I? But only for this little bit here. Put it into the middle. And then do some styling on it. So I think I've really got... Uh, I think I've really got a styling for center. Centered, display flex, flex direction column, align item center. So, let's try this. Oh, actually, no, no that's not going to work. Um, that's not good. Did work. Ah, but it's probably not going to work when I do. It's not going to be what I want. When I import a like an icon, I want to put an icon in front of it. So if I do something like um, import what's the I want I saw I want another magnifying glass I think uh, let's find out there we go been there before um so kind of search right so i could do magnifying glass but i could also do mm, minus that doesn't really make sense yeah just magnifying glass then What if there's a like not found? Nah. Okay. Okay. Let's just do that. So in theory, I can import magnifying glass. Can I? From, okay, I'm gonna need to go look at my button component. Icon button component. What did I do? Spelt awesome, of course. Spelt. 
Oh, it's not going to be that, is it? Uh, I wonder if it's that. So I'll have a look in a sec. I don't know what the uh, whether that even exists. Let's have a quick look. That's an SVG thing, isn't it? Let's stick it in on its own at the moment. Not sure how it, whether this is going to work or not. Can I resolve symbol? Okay. Is it that? Yes, and I need to do that then. No? Oh, that, no, mag, knee, oh, I wonder what search does then. Maybe that's what I want. Let's try that. So it's not quite a match, maybe. Okay, well that would help if I actually imported the right things. So I need this. And can I have that as something else? Is it can I do as or can I I don't know how to use an import here as Does that work? Is that a thing? Not sure if that's going to work or not. Let's find out. Apparently so. Okay, now it did, it did what I expected there. Um, so I do need to basically put Put a wrap on that, I think. Yeah. 
and it'll contain everything there in a, in a uh, paragraph. Just um, give me something to hang off. Yeah. Hmm. Not quite a line though, are they? But Well, I am going to adjust the size, so see what happens when I do a couple of things here. I might regret some of this, but we'll try it. So if we do... No snippets found. Um, Maybe a little bit too much. Let's make it 1.5. It's nice and bold. And then I can bump up this. There's a scale, isn't there? So I can do... Um, Scale equals, or well, maybe that's, can I do two? Well, too much, yeah. So maybe it looks it's the same, really. Maybe 1.5. Yeah, what about three? Two. I'm not wondering whether I even want that. I think that's okay. What do I do in my current version? Uh, so if I do hello, got anything there? Um, no snippets found. Please try entering a different search term. Okay. And I'm title casing it. You can see here, I've also got search. I've got like a icon here. Um, and then a little thing here, backspace. It's handy. Please try entering a different search term. Okay. Let's just do that. So first of all, let's title case that. It does look better. Let 
let's do this. We're going to do that. Do this. Oops. And then what we're going to do this. Please try, what was it again? Please try entering a different search term. Might change that one day. Please try entering a different search term. Okay. And then, okay, where am I using this elsewhere? Because of Oops. <laughs> uh, it's I started really early today. The welcome screen. Okay, so do that there. Then in the list, do that. And I take out the icon, don't need it. Needs to reload. Okay. Uh, so, right, hold on, let's keep that in there. No snippets found, so let's add. Um, do this. Let's do No snippets found dot description font size. One point two M. Uh, 
and oh, what's the ah, oh, it's bright. What's the padding like on this then? How's it doing its thing? Is it a margin? It is. Okay. Where's that margin coming from? Let's be just on a, a paragraph. So I just want to bump that down. So. <clears throat> Let's just try it here. We'll do um, margin. I'll just do margin top because that's all I really care about. Uh, we'll do one rep. It's a lot, isn't it? Did that even change? Oh, point one. Yeah, it did. Okay. Fact. I think that's okay. Let's do that. That's fine. Okay. So we have work in search, and I think that's good enough for the moment. Uh, yeah, so we've got that working. Yeah. And then if I do no snippets found, please try entering a different search term. Do SP. No, oh no. Okay, I think we're good. Right. Um the only thing I want to change there though is the actual search box. It needs to be more of a search box rather than just an input with a placeholder. Um so Okay, well, let's save off what we got because that's all working for the moment. Um, we are going to do implement. Work in search. In list snippets screen. I'll do. Okay saved and now let's get this search box sorted out because I don't like it as is um, okay so we have this input Ok, 
Could we do something sneaky? Could we just um, top and tail it? So that we have So we have like a magnifying glass on the left just to give it some decoration. And then a clear button on the right that pops in when there's something to be cleared. I think we can. Let's clear out some of these things. Don't need that at the moment, don't need that at the moment. And don't need that at the moment. Okay, so what might we do well for them let's do the magnifying glass um it may have some utility in the future you can imagine if someone's put in Maybe they've put in that and then they've gone, oh yeah, I didn't import things. And they're like, oh, I'll just do that on the command line. And then they come back here and they can just click, click the magnifying glass and it does the re, does the search to refresh. Just a little extra thing in there that could do. Let's try that. Um, but we'll start off with just trying to get a button in there of some sort. So let's do that. If um, so, if search we are going to pop in. Let's do um, an input type submit because it could also because it would actually trigger the search. So if you hit return as well, we'll do the same thing. Yeah, although we haven't got a form, so mm -mm. we'll see. Um, don't know what that that will do. Um, This is where we're going to get unstuck. Maybe I should just do an icon and style it up. Can I do that? It's a custom thing there, isn't it? I don't know what what kind of input it is. Let's try this first. Okay, input type, blah, blah, blah. It's got to be closed off. Can I do... Can I do value? And, 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 and. Now, I don't know. This is probably... Really, really, really stupid idea. But what if I do input search as mag new in plus from scout 
Awesome. Icons. So what if I do that? And then... I don't know what this does. I don't know what's in that magnifying glass. It's probably... I don't know where that's going to work. This could go bang. There's an object. Let's have a look. Let's see what it is. We have tools for that. Um, input. Okay, so maybe not then. Let's go look at the docs for Svelte. That's what I want. Oh. So I do need to use the icon, icon thing, do I? Saved. Okay. Uh, right. Let's 
Pascal spin. That's interesting. I think, so presumably, I might just need to I'll just use it for the moment with an icon and then um, we'll see what happens. Can't do that. And I need to do data. Let's try. Okay. There's different ways I could do this now. Um I'm going to have to start wrapping it with stuff. So because that's been that's been affected by flex there. Just that. Just from the time available. It's getting long here. Um, yeah, so at the moment I'm probably, well, I think screen. Screen is using, yeah, column. So let's override that. div class um, message let's make sure we don't muck about with that and then we're going to do Full on wrap here, so think. I know we're not. Well, yes, we are actually, I think. Well, then we're going to do that. I'm going to do div. Class. Just call it input. For funsies. And I think.
Well, there's different ways we can do things here. We could potentially... Yeah, so that's taking it out of the, um, the flex thing. So now I need to kind of switch it back up. Um, so if I like, if I temporarily just put a message in here, that's in the right place, kind of. It would be if it was a proper input. A normal input. So I can decide what I'm going to do here. I could could do some flexy things here. So I could do input display flex There's no way you're gonna like that. If I do Oh, I can just do a line items, can't I? That gets them back online because I'm using it'll be using remote by default here. There's no border there. Um, what else do I want in here? I want to do... To the input um, what's the thing for mucking about with the f stretchiness of it flex I don't know, I've got it on um, add. I've got it on the body, on I? Flex, that was just flex. Okay. That's kind of what I want, actually. I think. stretching it out and now I want to style this differently so Flex. 
class search. So when search is in, we can do input search. Oops. Order left. None. Oh, it doesn't like that formatting. I'm getting a little bit long, so let's do this. Oops. Like how it does that. Anyway, that's fine. Um, let's do. All right, so that, if I save that, it did go. And then I need to do. Yeah. I mean, I could do. I could do some like offsets and things. Padding. I just move it in. There's two ways I can do this. I can either have it as a separate thing and just bump them up. Or I can move the icon inside it as such. So it's overlaying and then just move the text across a bit. I think I'll keep them separate so I can style them up a little bit differently if I want to. Um, so I need to do, I need a sharp edge now, so border radius, top left, zero, dunk, and then border, oops, bottom, bottom, bottom left, should be a bit okay, yep, so I've got sharp edges now, and then, Let's give it class. So we can find it. Um, search icon. Although presumably I could just use icon. But anyway, we'll do that. So search icon is now needs to adopt stuff from the input, uh, which is on global. So we'll go in there and we'll just nick it. So On that, on that, on that. On all of that, 
spot. We'll adjust the borders in a minute. So this will make it look terrible. He says... Oh no. Set icon. Oh, I, I bet it doesn't have. Is it just because it's SVG? And I maybe just need to stick it in something then. Yeah, I bet I need to do that. Ooh. That's going to be interesting. Why, why is that there? Um, right, so... Okay, so it's just an SVG element. So I do need to stick it in something and start up the something. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Let's make it huh. what I can do. It's a button. He says, Yeah. Do that. It's all there because that's not going to help at the moment. Okay, now I need to resize all the things here. So I'm probably need to nick some of that from global again. That might help. And then It says, okay, I'm gonna to have to go look at uh, what we've got and uh, mung it. Okay. Let's 
let's muck about with this a bit then. So we've got the button here. Um, and it's doing the right kind of stuff there. It's got a board color, which is kind of working. Right, so it needs border radius. Why is that not on there? I thought I had border radius. Oh, probably not. Okay. Let's nick that as well. Okay. I need to resize it. So let's see what we've we got here. We need, okay, well, we need border right none. It says it's not working, but I'm sure we'll get that in a minute. Okay. Border. Top right radius zero. Did that even work? Why is that not working? This is a button border thing, isn't it? Oh, border right, it's not none, it's zero. But that's still not working. Hmm. So overriding that. Okay. Well, in that case, thank you very much. We will do um, that, 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 that. Still not doing what I want it to do. Okay. None. Solid. Solid. Okay, I'm going to have to that's off, isn't it? Let's 
It's not doing what it should do there. I've got everything there. Border style. Right is none. Border width, none. Hmm. Okay, let's do let's take it all out. Okay. Take the car as well, I guess. Okay. We'll just do this. Order top left radius. Uh, what was it? No, oh, point three rem. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. And then border. Bottom left radius. Okay. Maybe need to sort that out. Yeah. Just to get the sides right. Yep. And then presumably we've got a bit of margin or something there. So let's oh no, it's probably a flex gap. Let's try though, just to make sure. Margin oh. right. Zero, does that make any difference? Yes, okay. And then, so here, input search. Margin left, zero. There we go, it's all joined up. Can't even see the seams until you go and highlight it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> I wonder if there's a way of bubbling that up.
So that's coming from focus. Secondary. So I'll grab that. I wonder if I can do that. Can I? Is there a way? to monitor whether something's focused or not. Of course there is. Okay, um, so on focus in, we'll say, okay, uh, focused. Is that how you spell focused? Um, anyway, we'll do that. We'll have a function, oops, function focused. Uh, yeah, we don't need the event, I don't care. And we will say, Uh, well, should we just have let focused equal Well, let's do actually no, we do false to start with. Because we don't know. Well actually. Let's do this. Off to focus. So when we come in, it's initiated to that. Uh, oh. Better not call it the same as that then. Let's do that instead. Mm, is there a shortcut? Can I do this? Maybe not. We'll do that though. I can't remember if you can do that or not. I don't think you can. All right, so when we get focus in, we are going to set focused equal to true. And guess what else we'll do? We'll also do focus out ok 
Okay, so we'll do that. And then simply have here class focused. And therefore, we can do focused yeah or to color that hmm I wonder if that'll clash I might have to do um this thing again, but with a different border color. But let's see. Yeah, okay. Oh, no, it works. Let's do a quick reload there. Hmm, yeah, it's not taking it. You can see the join there. Um, yeah, I can just see the join, so I might have to do a little bit of tweaking on that. Um, but... Could probably well, there's a couple of different things I could do there for starters. That is actually still focused, even though I'm no, it's not though, is it? Well, let's try. Let's try this. Instead of just doing the one border color. Do that. No. Still the same. Mm. What if I did the same here, so it's at least just as bad? There you go. Yeah, so it's not catching. from like a blur actually, isn't it? Such. But anyway, that will do. Um, but I kind of want to see if that still works better because we've got the end piece there. 
And if I'm using a normal, yeah, there we go, that's better. Because if I instead, if I'm not using search here, so if I take out the search, I still want it to do the same. That's fine. But if I make it a search input, yeah, I've got the same. Okay. Uh, right. Um, one last thing on this before I, I well, don't really have time. I kind of run out of time. It would be nice to finish it off though. Let's see if I can do something in 10 minutes. So one thing I want to do is um, Let's quickly do Yeah, let's do this. So what we can do maybe is on click we will Hmm, do we do it here? Don't do it. No, let's, yeah, let's do it here. What we can do is probably just do um, update search. And we'll just have a function here. called update search and all it's going to do mm. I wonder if this will work. Value equals value. What I'm trying to do is just take all the, just kind of trigger it to do its thing again. Um, so what I'm going to do is in the list snippets here, where we monitor that. I'm going to do a console. Doing it. I just want to see whether it actually kicks off another um, another search. Ooh, that doesn't look good. What's going on there? Oh, that's not good. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is weird in, in there. Anyway, I'll have to sort that out. Anyway, so in the console, clear out that. Every time you do 
a search. So we'll do day. It does it. Does it again? Does it again? If I click this, ah, it doesn't. Okay, it does not tick away. Okay. So let's do. I can do a dispatch thing. He says, I've got time. Not really. Um, Yeah, I could do it. Right, I'm just going to quickly grab the bits and bobs for that. On the docks. <sighs> Dispatch. Create event dispatcher. That's what I want to do. So I want that. And do, do, do. Oh, not in there. In here. I'll quickly chuck it in here. Stack that up top. And then I basically want to do that. In fact, I can do exactly that because I don't really need a separate function for it. Do that. We're going to dispatch um, let's say query. And we'll pass in simply. the value. Why is that complaining? What? What are you on about? Oh. Dink. Need to do this, do I? To make it compliant? Still not happy. Don't know what that's about. Anyway, okay, so I need to do this again. Got too long. See what happens with that. That might be problematic. Don't need that anymore. And then here, 
we will have actually mm, no, I've got rid of it now And or query I think I need to do details or oh, event and then event detail basically I've got to do that So what we'll do here is we will simply go to search equals oops event detail. And hopefully that will trigger this to do its thing. If it doesn't, I'll just do it in there. Because uh, that's fine. But I'm just going to try that. So what's happening here? Uh, just to, in case you're not, if you're watching and wondering, what on earth am I doing? This event dispatcher is a mechanism for doing custom events. So I can say, okay, when, and when I click the button, um, I want to dispatch a query event uh, with this value as the detail, uh, which happens to be bound, and it's basically this variables contents here. Um, and then in list snippet screen, I'm saying, um, he says, where am I doing it? Yeah. I'm not. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> That's a good point. Um, so on the input, it's not going to work unless you monitor it. Uh, so here, I'm just cleaning up. I want to say on query call the handle query function. So it's going to catch the event, uh, the population of the event, the dispatching of it, pass it into the function, and then I'm going to do this. And by assigning that to that, I'm hoping it tickles it enough that this um, dynamic thing here runs. Um, but we will see. Uh, so I best do that over here so I can monitor. Oh, I did not like that. What's going on? There we go. I must have broken things while I was doing it. So clear out the console. Do day. So that's three hits of doing it at the moment. If I hit this. Oh, it doesn't work. Hmm. Is it even dispatching? Got query. So that's still working. Got query. OK, so the tickle didn't work. Not the way I expected anyway. 
So I could, I could do an update there. Although, Yeah, now we'll do this. I think what I'll do is I'll try this. Um, so search update. So it gets a oh I meant forget. How do I do the update on that? Yeah, I need to do the other one. So it's Get the current. Oh, it's not search one update anyway. Search. No, it is search I want to do. Search update. A search in theory. Well, actually, no. Let's say um, count value, so it's a local thing. And we'll just return event detail. Well, that should do it, in theory. He says, and do we not need that? Oh. Not sure if that's going to work or not. Got the query. Didn't do the update though. Okay. Let's do it this way then. Just do it manually. Do that. Itself. Just manually whack it. See what happens. Doing it. So if I switch this out for night, we've got six doing it's there. And if I hit night again we should get do a got query and a doing it got query doing it smart okay well i've got to go um i am a little bit late uh getting on with my day but that means we've got a working search button there and it updates as well.
in theory. So if things were to change, I can go and grab the data again. Smart. Okay. Kill that off. Done with that. Done with that. Done with that. Uh, we're not done with all that yet. Um, let's just say... Well, I think that's okay now. Oh. Let's take out this debug stuff. That's okay, we're done with that. On the input. Done with all that. Everything's used there. Don't know why that's complaining though. That is interesting. Okay, I don't need those at the moment. Okay, I'm just gonna commit that off then. Add um, search icon to search input. Okay, it's a little bit rough. Uh, the CSS isn't perfect, but we can tweak that later. Get it working better. Okay, uh, go. So, um, thanks for watching. Um, until next time, you take care. Bye.